Please join me in welcoming the mayor and city councillors for the city of Vancouver. Even after you're elected mayor with a majority, it's hard to shake the first day jitters. I will be respectful of others. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will dis sorry, say that again. I will demonstrate <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Ken Sim was ushered into office today, along with seven of his fellow ABC Party members, including re-elected councillors Lisa Dominato, Sarah Kirby Young and Rebecca Bly. Two Green councillors also returned to the chambers, as does re-elected councillor Christine Boyle. It's a historic moment for a city and province with a marked past of anti-Asian racism. 135 years after the first Chinese head tax, was paid just for the right to come here and work on building a railway, Vancouver has elected its first Chinese-Canadian mayor. Sim and Council inherit a city gripped by concurrent crises. Affordability, housing, homelessness, a toxic drug supply. Problems Sim hopes to address through collaboration. We are 11 people in this chamber with diverse lived experiences, and I think that's where you get your best answers. With a majority on council, Sim's leadership has already changed from the last four years. A minority government with opposing views that saw a record of more than 300 motions put forward, stretching city staff thin. But while they're open to collaboration, the outline councillors say they will also provide balance. I think we have a responsibility to disagree well and respectfully um, and I certainly will speak up. Where, where it's going to come to a crunch I believe is around the budgets. That's where we voted differently more often than not in the previous council. Um, so I think it's going to take some work. Sim campaigned on a platform centered on law and order. He says his priority in office will be to hire 100 new police officers and 100 new mental health nurses. And the work begins immediately. Council convening for the first time in the chambers Monday night. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.